My name is Nancy Erickson. I call myself an artist. Coming here long ago, we drove up north. We took the northern route into Missoula, and it was just extraordinary to come through the plains and then to see the mountains and the Bob Marshall. And I mean, it's truly, it's, it's a gift to be able to live here, I think. Uh, but it just happened to occur that, that Ron got a great job at the university, 50 years ago almost, and that I started the MFA program here when they were just beginning, and, and it was perfect for me. The way it evolved was that I had to take sculpture for my MFA degree, and I had slipped up, I hadn't paid attention, I hadn't yet done sculpture, and I thought, well, what can I do in the quickest possible time? What do I already know? And I know sewing. So I said, okay, I'm doing sculpture with fabric. And so Ted Waddell was the teacher. And no kidding, he accepted the work. I just couldn't believe it. It was, it was great, and he was very nice. He said, you know, it gives me lots of ideas. The kids love the stuff. They like things that they can touch and feel and so on. And, uh, and they wrote letters and I was just, I was, I thought I'd died and gone to heaven. <laughs> it was nice. And so I continued in the line and eventually decided that I could do what I wanted to do in painting in quilts, flat quilts. And so I started working that way. And I started with um, a series on, um, acid rain. I tend to do one thing at a time. It appears I go for, in fabric for a couple years or maybe even a 10-year streak. And then I go into oil paint sticks, which are instant oil paintings as far as I'm concerned. And there's a pretty good variety in colors. Uh, it's not like oil paints or acrylic paints, but it's pretty good. It just seems natural to me to want to do animals as part of it. Three times I've seen cougars, and cougars are very hard to find. You don't see them, they're very secretive. One was in fact right outside here where I was drawing, wouldn't you know it, I was drawing cougars. And she came down off the mountain, and I just happened to look up, and there she was. And she turned around and was off, just like a flash. And the other two times, there's a gravel pit down here at the bottom of the uh, hill, before you come into Missoula, which is an ancient deer crossing. And so the cougars follow the deer through there. And I did, we did see one at twilight. They're active at twilight. And then I, when I was jogging, I saw one down Deer Creek at about the six mile. And then all of a sudden, it rose to its full height at the edge of the road, and this huge long tail came out. And I was about a block, a little over a block away, and I just, <laughs> I didn't know what to do. It was so beautiful. And then a little bit later, it popped back down, and I, when I came by, I couldn't find it. I looked way down the gully, couldn't find it. So there's a closeness there that I hadn't really realized. Bears and humans look very different on the surface. But when you start drawing them and working with the structure, at least I learned how similar we are. And someone told me, oh, I saw a bear without a skin from a hunter hanging in a garage and I thought it was a man and I thought that's so true we're structurally we mammals are very similar at least a number of us are very similar 